Hey there, friends. I'm here with my son, Benjamin, and I wanted to share just a, a little thought and a message with you this morning uh, that I hope will bless you. Uh, this morning, Benjamin brought me something that he had been working on, a little drawing that he had been working on. Uh, can you see that right there? You want to say hey to everybody, Benjamin? Say hey. Say hey, everybody. All right. Benjamin brought me this drawing, and he uh, gave it to me. He was so proud of himself, and I was like, oh, that is so good. I said, what is that? And I think he said, that's you, Daddy. Now, I know that I look pretty rough at times, but I didn't know I looked quite that rough. But I really uh, love the heart behind this, of course. Uh, but the truth is, if we all live long enough, uh, we're going to begin to deteriorate. We're going to begin to waste away, and we're not going to look as good as we used to. Uh, makes me think of the time when I was growing up, uh, we always uh, grew potatoes among a lot of other vegetables. And uh, my dad would sell them in his country store, and of course we would use them ourselves as a family to eat. And uh, we grew a lot of potatoes and kept them in a little corner in the basement, a real dark corner in the basement. And uh, over the period of the summer, we would use some, and uh, some would... Uh, eventually began to break down and deteriorate and I, I remember used to I hated having to go down there and clean those things out but we would take those that had those potatoes down there in the basement that would eventually get really shriveled up and look really bad and uh, we would take them and we would cut them up into little pieces and when I was young, I just quite, couldn't quite understand, like, what good are those potatoes? And my dad showed me that, hey, you see these little spots? There's these little uh, spots here. You can barely see them on this potato, but uh, these little spots he called eyes. They got eyes on those potatoes. I'm like, oh, can they see? No, no. but we would cut these uh, potatoes into little chunks around those little spots he called eyes. And then we would save them, and then a little bit later on, in the early spring, we would go plant them. We would plant them in the ground. And those little chunky uh, spot with those little spots that, that, of those potatoes that at, looked like they had absolutely no value at all would spring forth and grow into a plant that would produce a multitude of other potatoes and then we'd start the whole process again of course over uh, the next year but in my mind as a young kid those old shriveled up potatoes looked like they were good for nothing they weren't fit to eat and they weren't fit for anything they should be, just be thrown away but my dad knew there was more to those potatoes then met my eye because those potatoes, those eyes in those potatoes had new, the potential for new life and new potatoes in them. And it made me think about uh, ourselves and our walk with the Lord. Uh, if we live long enough, eventually uh, all of us will end up looking like a shriveled up bag of old potatoes that don't look good for anything. But the promise of the gospel is, as I was kind of sharing last night, because God's seed through the power of the Word of God and the Holy Spirit is in us, even though we may waste away in this world, we're being renewed, Scripture tells us. Here's what how Paul puts it uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. He says, So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. There's more to our lives than meets the eye. And even if we end up looking like a shriveled up bag of old potatoes that look good for nothing, because not because of something in and of ourselves, but because of the gift of God in us that we receive through faith, the Word of God and the Holy Spirit in us, even though our outer nature is being wasted away and deteriorating and decaying, 
in this world and will eventually die. God's seed in us is being renewed day by day, and it's preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond anything we could ever comprehend or imagine in this world, and it's preparing for us something that we can't quite see now, but we will see when Jesus comes again. And even though we may at some point end up looking pretty rough in this life, when Christ comes again and we share in his resurrection, we will be renewed beyond our wildest imaginations in this uh, world to come. And that's what we have to look forward to as believers. I pray that this blesses you today, especially if you feel like an old sack of uh, worn out and uh, shriveled up potatoes. Know that God is renewing you and your spirit is being renewed day by day, even as we waste away on the outside. And we have a wonderful, wonderful hope to look forward to. God bless you. Uh, God be with you. And may his face shine upon you. May his peace be with you. And may you have his joy that is your strength. God bless you. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.